Hey guys, right, I am actually inside what is the Graham White hangar and there is a plethora of First World War and pre-First World War aircraft. Now look at this RE8, that is absolutely beautiful. The wonder of modern technology in its age. Over here we've got a cauldron, as you can see. Just pure wood and timber, this is all it was in linen. I mean, they look so flimsy compared to what we've got today. And then obviously you've got the Sopwith triplane over here. Okay, and right up here, hanging from the ceiling, we've got well, the old Gumbus, as you can see there. Another RE8. Okay. And at the very end here, you've got a Fokker D7. How about that? Superb. And I think, I can't remember the name of this one. It's a sop with something or other. Hang on, let me have a look. Uh, hmm, no, unfortunately I can't. So if anybody can tell me, just leave me a PM or something. But uh, it was certainly a significant aircraft the First World War. This again, I think, is a BE-8, I'm not sure. Uh, quite an immense looking aircraft, I have to say. And over here, we've got the Albatross. Look at an awesome looking machine. Superb. And over here is the old Bristol Fighter, or as was known, the Brisfit. And there's another top D7 just above me as well. There we go, and the old top with camel. And another gun bus, look at that. And over here is the SE5. And we all know Albert Ball was well known for the mount of this machine. And over here we've got the mock-up of a little Nissan hut and some of the vehicles that were used around the airfields at the time. And at the back, you've got the familiar grey and white lettering. There you go. More to follow.